Hello everyone, this is Larry. Chase gave me my own channel. We had a falling out, but we're cool now. He is still out there saving babies and ladies, so he is very busy with that. He will no longer be doing the gaming videos. So, I have the privilege of showing you, and continuing to grow his vast empire. Thank you for joining me. What I am currently driving is the Chernobyl. It drives like shit. You have to plan your turns in advance, because the steering has the responsiveness of thick syrup being poured through a window screen. Apparently it has weaponry that can be used by a passenger, and completely obliterates vehicles that dare enter its path. I will test this further for you guys soon. Let's head over to the arena, so we can check out the vehicle I am going to customize for you guys in this video. It is a mini tank called the Scarab, designed for use in arena wars. It is said to be quite formidable. We probably won't lose police in this sperm whale. So, I will have Lester work his magic for us, when we arrive. Okay, okay, I'll get you out of trouble. No problem. Ah, here we are. The Scarab. I must admit, it is striking to look at. Let's crack her open and see what kind of yolk is inside. And see what kind of seasoning we can add. I hope this creepy guy doesn't say any weird shit, to me. I'll try to ignore him for the cause. I am going to speed through this long process and spare you the boredom. If you like this kind of stuff in real time, let me know in the comment section. I read all my comments. Also, a subscription and a like would be greatly appreciated, and it helps a lot more than you know. To both let me know what works for you guys, and to let YouTube know I am entertaining you. Bear in mind, that these arena vehicles are very expensive to upgrade. For the Scarab, you will need close to 5 million from purchase to pimp. Let's get her out on the road, and play with some of her toys. That's the jump boost, impressive. I opted for the kinetic mines. I find them to be more disorienting. I wonder why more lethal options aren't available. This is what happens when you jump, instead of dropping a mine. We'll figure it out. This guy must be a glutton for punishment. Did y'all see that? That douche, didn't even slow down. Yeah, I have to end him. Great, now I'm hot. 12 is looking for me. Still, this tiny tank is a problem. 12 don't want it. A little power slide action. You see it, you know the vibes. Don't expect to be winning any races in this shit. It moves faster than you would think, but it is as slow, as the slowest cars in the game. In fact, I think it can be beaten by a bicycle. Maybe I'll test that, theory as well. Let me know in the comment section. Let's play with these kinetic mines a bit more. Too many red bulls, I guess. Did you see that? The front end completely imploded. Oops, got myself in the ass a little there. Good thing I wore clean underwear. I heard dropping five at once, used to have the same effect as one proximity mine. Nope. I'll take it though. That was sick. I can't wait to take this into public lobbies. I wonder what it does, to semis. That's what the first attempt, at putting a Tesla into space looked like. Damn it, wrong lane, we'll get one.
Do you believe this? The guy just kept driving like he only hit a damn speed bump. Like he didn't just get launched into the sewer. Overall, I would say this vehicle is pretty good and worth a buy if you can afford the hefty price tag. Lots of fun. I will give it a rating of B-. My last tip is, be careful around this, if you install spikes. Or this may happen. Thanks for watching.